assuming it's one o'clock, so I will say, okay, perfect, my name is Michael Smith, <laughs> the National Consumer Education Manager of Genome Canada, and again, I'm here with uh, our lovely Tanya uh, from the Genome Sewing and Learning Center in Oakville, Ontario, for another Genome HQ Instagram Live, as we're doing Genome's Magical Machine Mystery Tour. Oh, fabulous. And then, ooh, what, possibly, what machine are we talking about hey, today? Don't look. <laughs> yes, exactly. I can't really hide this one, that's for sure, but we'll do, ta-da, the big reveal for the big, gorgeous Quilt Maker Pro 18. We have an 18-inch throat space from your needle all the way to the back of the machine. And the Quilt Maker Pro 18 debuted about three years ago at Quilt Canada here in, in Canada. Uh, it was 2017 Quilt Canada. And when the doors opened, you know, Genome is always front and center. And so many people came right up to our booth and go, oh, at last, Genome has a branded Genome long arm quilting machine. So those of you who are Genome fans, as I am, now we have our fabulous Genome sewing machine. We have our fabulous Genome serger, our fabulous Genome cover hem machine, Genome embroidery machine. And now we have our Genome long arm quilting machine. And there's actually a couple of long arms now that I will go through a couple of quilting machines in Genome's arsenal uh, that I will introduce you to over the next couple of weeks as we do our Genome's Magical Machine Mystery Tour. <laughs> so today we're talking about the fabulous Quiltmaker Pro 18. And what it is, I doubt, Tanya, you could even get it all in the shot. It comes on a 12-foot frame. And the wonderful thing about this 12-foot frame is you can customize it. So many people say, oh, I don't have the room. But the table actually, there's a little joint here. Oops, my microphone. <laughs> and there's a little joint over there. The table actually comes in three four-foot sections. So you can set up this 12 feet, as we have here, or you can set up eight feet. You could even set up four feet. And you know, a number of our Genome dealers that have these in their stores, uh, that's all they have is, is four feet. You know, the, their stores are always very full. So a four foot section is enough to do like a baby quilt, enough to do a, um, a panel. Uh, maybe you don't do a lot of big quilts, but you do a uh, uh, quilted fabric for like wearable art, for example, you could set up your four foot frame even in a spare bedroom or down in your laundry room and you could quilt all your fabric and then cut it out and make garments out of it or tote bags or maybe you quilt uh, table runners and placemats, maybe not so many big quilts. So there's lots of flexibility to your quilting. And the wonderful thing about the, having this whole 12 foot frame, uh, I, we can totally do king size quilts, queen size quilts, uh, bedspreads all the way down to the ground, you know, depending. Uh, down here, if you want to follow me, there is a batting bar that is included with the frame of the machine. So this roll of batting is 120 inches wide. It's folded in half the way it comes from, uh, you know, the manufacturer. But then I can simply unfold it as I lay it onto my uh, quilt sandwich and do my quilting. So it will accommodate your 120 inch wide batting for a nice big quilt. So I have so much here to show you. So yes, can you will be moving the camera around I'll quite a bit. Uh, so yes, I'll try to stay in one spot for a while as we talk about it. So I'll totally demo the machine and show you some of the fabulous fun accessories. Uh, the big thing I wanted to point out is, ooh, look at that nice big bobbin. <laughs> you know, we're so used to our Genome J bobbins, our plastic bobbins, or if you were with me on our first Genome's Magical Machine Mystery Tour, <laughs> which was uh, two weeks ago, then I talked about the front loader machines uh, like the HD 1000 that uh, you could use metal bobbins in those machines, the front loaders. But again, those are the, the class 15 size, a much smaller bobbin. These are a M uh, bobbin. They are much bigger. And the wonderful thing, we can do M uh, pre-wound bobbins. We can use them in the Quiltmaker Pro 18 uh, M size uh, pre-wounds or that it comes with, I believe, about five 
uh, extra bobbins, but you can totally buy more from your Janome dealer and then use this fabulous bobbin winder and wind your own. What I especially love about this bobbin winder that comes included is it has a stop start button. So as you thread your bobbin winder, then you can start, and even a speed control too. So you can start winding your bobbin at a slower speed, make sure that it's winding correctly, the thread isn't gonna jump out of the, the tensions here. And then when you know, yeah, it's gonna be threaded properly, then you can crank up your speed. Or if you know, to, oh no, it's jumped out of my tension, you can stop it easily and then adjust that thread. So I think that's a really cool feature to have. So I'm going to be talking, you know, again, fast and furious. There's so much to show you. But for more information about the fabulous Quiltmaker Pro 18, uh, you can go to Janome America's YouTube channel. And Kelly McKenzie, the fabulous Kelly, uh, is Janome America's uh, long arm expert. And I certainly rely on her expertise uh, as well. So Kelly McKenzie for Janome America has done, ooh, I think at least 13 videos uh, and on the Quiltmaker Pro 16, and she's done, I think, even more on the Quiltmaker Pro 18. So if you go to Janome America's YouTube channel and just type in uh, Quiltmaker Pro or Quilting with Kelly, as the segments are called, and then up will come all this information about all your fabulous uh, Quiltmaker Pro accessories and uh, tips on winding your bobbin, how to load the frame, all of that. And you know, uh, one of the classes I will be soon featuring is called um, Love Your Long Arm. So we'll be doing an online class and then we're hoping to then welcome the public in here for uh, in-person classes called Love Your Long Arm. So you can write me at our usual classes at genomi-canada.com and I'll put you on that list. So then when I have the classes up and ready to go, then you'll get notification. And come in and have a test drive, our, our fabulous long arm. So the fun thing about our Quiltmaker Pro 18 is, let me get up and going, sure, that we can get all of our quilting done very fast and easy. <laughs> Just with two fingers is really all two fingers and a thumb is all that I'm demoing with now to drive the machine. We can use it however, whatever kind of quilting you want to do. If you want to do free motion, as I am doing here, you'll see some of my little pebbles that I was doing earlier, little squiggles, or we can do, you know, straight lines, whatever kind of free motion we want to do at the front of the machine here. Or, yes, let's go for a little tour as we <laughs> spin around. I'm going to go to the back of the machine to then show you all with the included laser light. Then I can also use paper pantographs that are readily available. Uh, chances are your Janome dealer may even sell some, but you can also get them online. Again, readily available. If you're really so inclined uh, and patient, you could even draw your own. Like, why not? Uh, but then this way, with the laser light, I'm following the design that's on my paper pattern. So again, whatever kind of quilter you are, however you want to finish your quilts, the Janome Quiltmaker Pro 18 will let you do so. So again, how fun is that? And you're following your paper pantograph. I always tell everybody though, don't worry if you're off a little bit. By the time you see it on the front of your quilt there, no one will ever know that you slightly moved a little bit. So again, that's so fast, so easy to do. Uh, the great thing not only is the um, laser light included in the Quiltmaker Pro 18, but the rear handlebars are also included with the Quiltmaker Pro 18. As you're doing your research, if you're in the market for a long arm and you're wondering, ooh, and you're comparing uh, different brands, um, 
make note that our rear handlebars are included. Not all of them are. <laughs> so that's definitely a good thing, uh, you know, that you um, can get a whole ton of extra accessories, but then this, again, is already included. So if you want to do paper pantographs from the back of the machine, you're already set up, good to go. All you need is a paper pantograph and away you go. So, yes, yes, <laughs> sorry for moving around so much, but there is so much to share and I don't have a um, wireless microphone. Maybe that'll be the next thing I do. <laughs> So yeah, so we can do free motion quilting, we could do paper pantographs, and that will allow us to, I don't know, you know, your whole big uh, quilt, this is like sort of a lap size quilt. Again, just simple edge to edge, very simple, very easy. Maybe you can see the quilting better from the back. Uh, so again, very simple, very easy to do and totally get your quilt tops done fast. That's the reason I loved having a long arm. Uh, you know, if you did join me uh, two weeks ago from our uh, premiere episode of Janome's Magical Machine Mystery Tour, and, and I talked about the um, machine that I started with uh, Janome 28 years ago is the HD 1000. Basically, they, they rebranded the machine that I started with as the HD 1000 is the current uh, model. But I quilted, again, probably my first 40 quilts in that throat space. It's a six and three quarter inch throat space. So yes, you can quilt a big king size quilt on a, a small domestic machine. It's totally possible. It just takes a little bit more effort. Uh, then I upgraded to the fabulous top of the line uh, Memorycraft 15,000 quilt maker. I bought that about six years ago. And again, that's got 11 inches of throat space. So it definitely makes quilting on your machine, you know, much easier. But here, ooh, we've got, again, uh, 18 inch throat space. That works out to be about uh, 14 quiltable inches because we do have to allow for the quilt rolling up here. Uh, hitting the back of the machine and we have to account for the bars here up at the front. This may look like a, a different uh, configuration of the rollers that you're used to seeing in most traditional long arms. On our Quiltmaker Pro 18, what I love is having this bar down here is actually your quilt top bar. Normally we're used to seeing it up here on top, but the the genius behind this frame is the bar that's right here is our quilt back bar. This is our quilt top bar, so we can roll the quilt down. We have now an unobstructed view to see our quilting, so that is great. We don't have a big bar up here, you know, getting in the way. And then if you want to use one of your fabulous accessories, that you can purchase is ooh, your acrylic ruler base. This gives you an extra 12 inch workspace. So maybe if you want to follow me just over here a little, because then I can show you all how easy this ruler base is to attach, oh sorry, I should have cut my threads, that would have made more sense, but with the ruler base, so you see this is the regular throat of the machine, but then to use rulers, we can slide this base into place, and now we've got a bigger surface in which to support all of our rulers. And of course, now we have some fabulous Janome acrylic uh, long arm rulers. They're a quarter of an inch thick, so we're able to butt them up against the foot and they're not going to slide in under. Uh, definitely with your long arm, because it's a hopping foot, it's not like a presser foot that stays down in the uh, bed of the machine like your sewing machine. The, the foot here is a hopping foot. It goes up and down. So we don't want to use our regular uh, domestic um, thin, they're usually about an eighth of an inch, uh, thick rulers uh, that we would use on the domestic sewing machines. We don't want to use those rulers, uh, but we can use the quarter of an inch thick long arm rulers. And in fact, there's a dedicated ruler foot for this machine as well, so we can safely use our rulers. And with our uh, acrylic ruler base here, 
to do a yet another technique of quilting. So again, whatever kind of style of quilting you want to do, you are able to do with the Quiltmaker Pro 18. Now there is the uh, Pro Stitcher Premium Robotics uh, computer system as well, but I'm going to feature that because that in itself is a whole uh, lesson. <laughs> uh, so yes, I will feature that in another uh, Magical Machine Mystery Tour episode. Uh, for right now, we're just going to focus on the, the machine itself. Uh, but the Pro Stitcher Premium is, a, is an upgrade that you can either get at the time or, again, upgrade down the road. So, again, it's whatever kind of quilting you want to do. Uh, again, when I mentioned doing your free motion quilting, the reason I have this fabulous slimline light... Ooh. <laughs> yes, exactly. I do feel <laughs> like that. Uh, again, if you need, if you're sitting at the front of the machine, um, you can also adjust this table in height. So if you wanted to sit on a saddle stool, for example, again, I love the configuration of this frame because I can totally sit on a stool. My legs can go under the frame very easily. So I could be sitting at a, at a chair or a stool and I could do my micro stippling or I could be doing really small pebbles, really intricate work. Uh, again, free motion side from, from this side of the machine. So um, by adjusting the height of the frame, then you're able to sit down. But also, again, this slimline uh, lamp uh, from uh, daylight, I love having because then again, you already have a lot of light from the machine, but if you need a little extra, then the, the floor lamp uh, here that you can get, uh, again, from your Janome dealer. They may not have them in stock, but they can always order them uh, for you. And then, so yes, by having that extra light from the floor lamp really helps. And then, yes, it looks like a lightsaber, <laughs> so that's cool. But there, I will uh, take away the light so you can see all the fabulous lighting. This is one of our favorite features. All of us educators, when we saw this machine for the first time, we loved having all this lighting here washed down on the quilt. You've got a wonderful halo uh, ring light right above the needle, so you can really see what you're doing. But also the lighting here at the sides, look, are these magnets. I think these are everybody's favorite things. And this I thought was so genius. I must admit, I was always notorious for leaving my tools down on the bed of the machine as I was working along. And I know a few people who have actually either run them over or uh, one of my friends, she quilted, this is not a seam ripper, but she quilted her seam ripper into the quilt. I or, or there. So yes, like anything is possible by leaving your tools down. And that's a terrible habit. So it's wonderful. Oh, look, I've got these strong magnets. I can hold everything up out of the way. My little snips so I can get in there to, you know, trim my threads. Or this is the screwdriver that comes included that you can adjust your bobbin case with. So that's very handy. And then again, whatever kind of pins, if you want to pin your quilt top, uh, to the frame, then you can uh, put your extra pins or this little screwdriver is very handy because, or this little Allen key is handy because now I can change my hopping foot very easily. And a little tip I will share with you because uh, new owners ask me this all the time. You know, when we'd go to shows or dealer store, they say, oh, I can't get my foot off. It doesn't want to come off very easily. But because this is a hopping foot, I can grab the bar here that my foot attaches to and I just oh. push up a little bit and boom, it comes right off. So again, that's the joy of our hopping foot. So I'm going to remove our regular foot and it even comes included with, I don't know, can you see um, the regular foot or then there's an open toe version of the foot. Or maybe I'll set them down there. Is that easier? So there's an open toe version of the foot or the regular closed toe. So that comes included. I like hanging the feet up on the thread stand. <laughs> but uh, yes, get them out of the way. Because then, oh yes, follow me here. 
Again, we're moving all over the place. Look at all the, these are just some of the fabulous accessories that you can get for your Quilt Maker Pro. So you never think, oh, is that all it does? It just quilts? Oh no, just wait. But I can get these fabulous um, ruler foot, for example, uh, comes in the little case here, quarter inch ruling ruler foot. And again, like our domestic ruler feet, you know, they're thicker, they're higher. This is about a quarter of an inch uh, thick. So again, I can use those rulers right up against it. And, ooh, sorry, <laughs> use the ruler right up against it and I don't have to worry this isn't gonna slide under. So that's great. There's little divots around the side of the foot so I can see the needle better. So that's great. So we can get extra presser feet, again, like the ruler uh, foot. They even include, I love it, like the little screw in case if you happen to, to lose that little screw, <laughs> then they all come included. Or you can get, oh, the glide foot. Uh, Kelly McKenzie has done a number of Facebook Lives with uh, Janome Sewing Machines page. That's Janome America's Facebook page. So you can go back in their uh, Facebook Live videos and you can see this cute little glide foot in action. Uh, a lot of people like this when they're using paper pantographs and they're going off and on the edge of the quilt and because this is all smooth and rounded uh, you're not going to hit the edge of the quilt and, and fold it back by accident. So it's a very good foot to use for that. And again if you um, join us for our long arm quilting events that we will have here again soon to be announced. <laughs> uh, I'll announce them, uh, I'll, not only will I write a Janome Life blog, but also I'll announce them on the Janome HQ YouTube channel, uh, the Janome HQ Facebook page, and Janome HQ Instagram. So you'll definitely make sure to follow us all of there, so then you'll get all the info. Uh, we have these cute echo feet, which are different sizes. And again, they're all clear, but they're different size discs. So basically you can uh, trace around your shape, your applique, or trace around a previous line of stitching, and you're gonna echo that shape. You can keep the camera there. I'm just gonna run and grab <laughs> this quilt some music. here, <laughs> yes. So around this ice cream cone, for example, then I have echoed, it's about a quarter of an inch away from the edge of my little applique here. So this uh, is echo quilting. You're just stitching a certain distance away. In this case, it was about a quarter of an inch, but I can use this big foot, which is three quarters of an inch, and then I could stitch a further distance away. So I would run the foot up against that uh, line of stitching that I already did. And I could just keep going along. Think of uh, if you drop a pebble in the water and you see those ripples, uh, that's what your echo quilting is like. Uh, the rest of it, uh, all in here, was all straight lined. It looks like it's curved because of the piecing, but it's actually, no, it's all just straight lined. So very simple to use your rulers for that. Oh, and we've got things like, again, you can always get an extra bobbin case when people say, oh, I'm, I'm too afraid to adjust my tension. Once you set your bobbin tension, you know, people don't want to fiddle with it. So I say, oh, you can buy another bobbin case. So maybe you set your tension to a pre-wound bobbin and then this becomes your pre-wound bobbin case and this is the, the only time you use it. Or then you set your bobbins to those that you're gonna wind so you have a separate bobbin case for your cotton threads, for example, and a separate bobbin case for your polyester threads, you know, so that way you're not adjusting your tensions as much. Uh, it's, it's very good to learn how to do that and in your instruction manual it'll go through all of that. And again, there's lots of videos online on how to adjust your bobbin tension, but it just saves time if you have more than one bobbin case, so then you're not adjusting it as much. Uh, speaking of thread, oh, I have just a small sampling of some fabulous Madeira thread. Uh, this arrow lock 
or sorry, arrow quilt. We use arrow lock for the serger, which I've loved and I mentioned many times on the previous Janome uh, A to Z with Janome series and then Janome's Awesome Accessories uh, series. Uh, all those videos are available on Janome HQ YouTube channel to watch. Uh, so I mentioned Aero Lock or the other Aero Flock that again use in your serger, but now we have our Aero Quilt. And this thread again comes in a myriad of colors, uh, which I love using. And when we used this uh, last year, last Quilt Canada, when it was in Ottawa, we used the Aero Quilt the entire four days. The only time I ever had a thread break was our second day of Quilt Canada. Our first day we did tons of yarn couching, which I'll show you in a moment. And again, by using all that that yarn that dulls the needle over time. So after all day of doing yarn couching and we left and I totally forgot to change the needle. <laughs> so the next morning we came in and we started quilting and then yes, we had some thread breaks and I thought, oh, I'll change the needle. Boom, no problem. And then we never had one thread break the entire rest of Quilt Canada. Tanya's shaking her head because she was up at the long arm demoing with me. So we absolutely fell in love with this Madeira Arrow quilt. And again, comes in beautiful colors. So again, you can get all of the um, Arrow quilt and Arrow lock and Arrow flock uh, Madeira thread from your Janome dealer. And then look at all these. I was so thrilled when Janome has come out with all these fabulous acrylic rulers that you can get again and they're nice and thick they're a quarter of an inch so you can totally use this on your long arm and you can use these on your domestic sewing machines particularly if you have a high shank machine you can use these thicker rulers around the back of the foot uh, if you have a dedicated ruler foot for your sewing machine uh, then yes you can use long arm rulers on your domestic sewing machine you can't do it the other way around. Again, you can't use those thinner rulers that you would typically use on your sewing machine on your long arm. They're gonna slide under the hopping foot. But these you can use like double duty. So they're great. So there's a little wavy one and a clamshell one. And then, oh my gosh, I just got these the other day. So I haven't had time to play with them yet, but I'm going to, you know, circles and arcs and, you know, whatever kind of, shape you want to do, waves, like it's amazing. So you can do your ruler quilting on your domestic sewing machine and you can do your ruler quilting on your fabulous Quiltmaker Pro long arm. So again, that's another quilting technique you can do. So whatever kind of quilting technique you want to use to finish your quilts and your projects, you can do with this fabulous machine and some of these fabulous accessories. Uh, things like this, ooh, horizontal spool pin. You don't always have to use big cones of thread. If you've got a, a particular shade that you don't have a big cone of thread like this, oh, you can use, this is one of our Madeira Poly Neon uh, threads that I would use typically for embroidery. You can use them on your long arm as well. There's a little spool pin here that you can purchase, which will just go up at the side of your machine and then you will thread as usual uh, in place of that big cone. So again, there's lots of options, lots of versatility you can use. Let me just put that down. But I wanted to show you all, ooh, the couching foot. It comes as a set of three. There's three different sizes, so you can use your various yarns for your couching. Now, if you joined us in our previous series, uh, A to Z with Janome or Janome's Awesome Accessory Countdown, I showed you our free motion couching foot uh, set, for example, for your domestic machine. Or then I also showed our beading foot on the serger that I couched yarn down using that beading foot and the serger. So you can couch yarn pretty much with any machine. And in fact, we even have embroidery couching for some of the embroidery machines. So I love this technique. It looks like chenille. Many people want to always rub up uh, against it and say, oh, it feels like chenille. So depending on the yarn, I get most of my yarn from the, the big discount store. It doesn't have to be fancy or especially if you're a knitter, a uh, crocheter, you know, experiment with that. But I made this little uh, travel pillow here. So this fits actually in my carry-on suitcase. So how cute is that? I haven't been doing much flying uh, lately, <laughs> that's for sure, but I have it just in case. But this was so quick and easy to do. 
or this was actually a design that was stitched out in Pro Stitcher. Okay. Was that, did we do that at Quilt Canada? Uh, yes, I think I did have this at Quilt Canada, and I know I had it at our Genome Institute in August. Uh, so even with your Pro Stitcher uh, computer that you can do your yarn couching, and then that was all just free motion, but again, just very, very fun to do. So with our couching foot here, I will quickly put on, you can add a whole nother decorative textural element. Again, not only just for your quilt, but if you're doing any kind of wearable art or uh, any, uh, again, tote bags or home deck products, uh, any, ooh, any of your yarn like will do. <laughs> Generally, I take off a bunch of yarn, depending on my project, but I'll take the, the yarn off the, the skein or off the big roll, um, but I want to unroll quite a bit so then it doesn't pull tight. The biggest thing is... Oh, yes, yes, and in fact, I'll... Trying to be mindful of time. I don't want to okay, keep you too long, but still. Okay. Oh, okay, not bad at all. But this yarn couching is so fun. So I don't know if you can see, there's a little hole down there in the foot. There's a little like rubber gasket, I guess, in the, in the foot. And then there's a little hole in there. And there's three different uh, sizes of couching feet. So uh, right now I've got the big one on, but I take my yarn so I've already raised uh, my bobbin thread there. So I have my two threads there. I take my yarn and I basically have lassoed it with my thread. I just put it around behind my needle and pull it forward a little bit. So I have this little loop. And then I'm going to just do needle up down and now pull that through. So that's an easy way to get your yarn through that little hole and now sometimes I uh, even hang up the yarn around the handlebar because again, I don't want it to pull taut. And then away I go. So this is all just free motion, but I could go to the back and use my laser light and follow the pantograph. And then this will stitch out beautifully. And if you notice, oh, it hasn't really caught, uh, you can go back and stitch it. Oh, I think my thread broke, of course. Oh, no, no, I'm good. Oh, I think I ran out of bobbin thread. <laughs> yep, <laughs> I did. <laughs> so that's a perfect uh, time. But yes, you can see it all stitched down beautifully. And then you go back and you can fill it in with free motion if you want. Wow. So then again, you can even combine the different techniques. The great thing, you've got all your controls right at your fingertips here. So I have my needle up down, I have my stop start, I can control the speed. We have up to 2200 stitches per minute. This is the fastest machine in the Janome line. And sometimes people ask me, there is a built-in stitch regulator. So that's always one of the first questions. And then they say, oh, can I, uh, can I outrun this stitch regulator? They say, well, technically you can. I don't see why you'd want to. Uh, you know, just because our cars can go 300, 400 miles an hour, uh, I hope you don't drive that fast. <laughs> so even though, yes, you can outrun the 2200 stitches a minute, uh, do you really quilt that fast? Most of us don't. So totally fine. But yes, there is a built-in, if you want to take, um, bring the camera a little bit so I can show the screen, hopefully not too much glare. But it's wonderful. Again, push button controls, we've got regulated mode or I've got manual mode. So then I become the stitch regulator. And then no matter how fast or how slow you move the machine, uh, yes, no matter how fast or how slow you move the machine, then um, you are controlling the stitch length. I was going to see if I have another... another yes, as I'm just looking for another bobbin. Oh, this would be a perfect time to come over and look at... Oh, sorry for the test. Oh, yes, because another fabulous optional accessory. <gasps> look, you can have drawers under your long arm frame. So again, people always say, oh, the, they're so big and they take up so much room. Well, really not much at all. But then if you have these drawers underneath your frame and you can get it where they can either open at the front, depending on how you install it, they will either open at the front or they will open to the back. 
So these, I thought, were such a wonderful space saver because then I didn't have to worry about piling up a bunch of stuff under the machine, which is usually what I would do at shows. <laughs> so now by having these drawers, all your supplies stay out of the way. Everything you need, like your extra bobbins, for example. Oh, that's what you were looking for. Uh, yes, exactly. <laughs> that's what I was looking for. So I thought <laughs> maybe I can go in here quickly and change the bobbin. Although this one looks like you'd think I would be more prepared because <laughs> this looks like it's going to uh, run out as well. But it's very simple to do. And again, most of the time after you do this a little while, you just do it by feel. I didn't even have to crawl down and look, but it's super simple to do. And then, then again, there's lots of uh, YouTube videos on how to do all of this. And then we will be having long arm classes on how to go over all of this. I'm just doing this as a quick uh, overview. But yes, in my manual mode, let me get rid of my yarn. Do you hear the difference of the machine? The motor stays steady, but I'm now moving. Yes, so I'm moving the machine so I can do really long basting stitches if I want to when I put my quilt down and I can do a really long basting stitch. Or again, if I want to do really small micro stippling, some people prefer it on manual mode. And then yes, I'm running out of bobbin thread there you too. Yes, and then you hear it over time. Yes, totally. But you can totally customize your machine if you want to use regulated or manual. And then you can change the motor speed as well. As fast as you want to go. Or if you think, oh, wow, that's too fast. Well, okay, then you slow it down. So doing free motion in manual mode on your long arm is very similar to free motion on your domestic machine. You again experiment finding that sweet spot, as we call it, to then balance the speed of your machine versus the speed of your hands. Uh, most of the time I find people don't run the machines fast enough, but they move their hands too fast. So it just comes with practice. So it's very fun to experiment with. So not only do we have uh, stitch regulated and manual, in our regulated mode we have two further modes of stitching. So we have a precision mode, which I love using for rulers. Because that means as I'm stitching along, Whenever I stop moving the machine, the needle stops exactly where I'm at. So I like using it when I use rulers because then it stops exactly where I need it. And then I can position my ruler wherever and then I can continue. And then again, stop exactly where I need and then it continue. So that's when I like using precision. The other mode of uh, stitch regulated uh, mode is the cruise mode. And that is, I equate it to uh, idling your car. Uh, the motor is running, but you're not going anywhere. So in cruise mode, whenever I stop moving the machine, the needle is still cycling up and down. And I like using that, particularly when I'm doing pantographs on the back of the machine and we're stitching around uh, corners, especially those that have like uh, a, a hook and then you're gonna change direction. By having cruise mode, you drop just that little extra stitch right in the corner before you go off and change direction. So it's very helpful that way. And then when we use our Pro Stitcher Premium computer that mounts on top of the machine here, uh, the cruise mode is recommended for Pro Stitcher uh, for that same purpose, that the needle is always cycling. So it stitches a little more fluidly, a little more smooth, uh, particularly around curves and sharp points. So again, lots of customization here. And very simple to adjust. And again, the full instructions through the whole thing. So yes, that in itself is a whirlwind. Oh my gosh. Is there any questions, no, any concerns? No, no? okay. Oh good, okay, fantastic, good. Thank you for bearing with us as we were going all around. I hope we were not making yes, anyone dizzy exactly. by going around everything. But yeah, that in a nutshell is your fabulous Quiltmaker Pro 18, uh, mainly to let you all know that yes, there are a couple of long arm uh, or quilting machine solutions uh, available from your Janome dealer, so you can all uh, contact them. Uh, it, now, not every dealer carries the Quiltmaker Pro, 
Um, so you can contact uh, even our Genomi offices and then we'll let you know, or even write me again, classes at genomi-canada.com and then I can tell you which dealers um, carry these machines. Uh, but then if your dealer in your area has one, you can certainly go in for a test drive and play around. Uh, they're lots of fun. And again, very soon, I will be announcing uh, classes that we're having here. And in fact, we're even uh, toying with the idea, we want to get some feedback about having a long arm rental here at our Genome Sewing and Learning Center. So you would book time and come in and use our machine here to get your quilts done. So we're considering that. And again, wanted to um, put the word out to all of you uh, if you're interested in doing something like that. Again, we're in Oakville. Um, so depending on if you wanted to travel or not, but you can write me again at that classes at genomi-canada.com and then I could send you more information about the potential uh, long arm uh, rental program here. But yes, I think that would be lots of fun because then again, not all of our dealers can have this machine in their store. So well, that's why... Well, yeah, so yes, and many people feel that way too. And you know, yeah, it's a big machine and yes, you know, it's a big purchase. So this would be like a good opportunity to try a good hands-on, get a feel for it yourself and see. So that's something we're, we're kind of throwing out there uh, if there's a demand for it. So that would be great. So yes, thank you all for joining us. Tanya, if you want to flip around and say goodbye and I will see you all again, or we will see you all again um, next Wednesday at 1 p.m. Eastern for another Janome's Magical Machine Mystery Tour. And again, what machine will we be talking about next? <gasps> it's a mystery. Out. Yes, <laughs> tune in and find out. So be sure to follow us here at Janome uh, HQ Instagram. Uh, follow us at uh, Facebook, Janome HQ there, and check out our previous videos on Janome HQ YouTube. So thank you everyone for joining me. Have a fabulous day. Bye.